like. Welcome back everybody to CES 2025. Now, it's time for me to take my tour through the TCL booth. And as you know, I love TCL. It is one of my favorite brands. And we're gonna get to see all the cool new stuff that they're presenting this year. All of the breaking news that you've heard about online. Well, we're gonna go through and see it all right now. Before we get started, if you're into tech hi-fi or movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. So last year in 2024, TCL launched the 115-inch QM891 G2. This is a TV that was sold through a bunch of U.S. retailers, and it's available still for purchase today. Now this TV here has about 20,000 local dimming zones and about 5,000 nits peak brightness. Not only are you getting uh, a big, old, vibrant, beautiful TV, but it also comes equipped with a 6.2.2 sound system as well. So you're getting the whole kind of kit between audio and visual. The biggest thing for TCL is we're always thinking about how we use our vertical integration and our manufacturing process to give really good solutions down to every customer level. So a TV like this, when it first got launched in the market, it MSRP at about $26,000. And for the holidays, it went down to about $17,000. So you're getting a, almost a cinematic level quality display uh, paired with really premium audio for something that uh, can really just transform any kind of home theater space. And the, the real aficionados who enjoy cinema and enjoy all those levels of really premium picture detail uh, get something at a tremendous value when they're working with TCL. So TCL doesn't only make really premium QD mini LED TVs, but we also make uh, micro LED TVs as well. So micro LED uh, is kind of a different form of a display technology in which um, every kind of one of these diodes is an RGB module. And those modules all fire off spectrums of art like red, green, and blue light. All of those create color and detail across this picture. So when we're looking at this piece, it's not necessarily one large TV as much as it is individual sections that are kind of pieced together. So when we piece them together, we can actually achieve a lot more scale. So right here, you're looking at a 163 inch diagonal screen. Uh, it has about 10,000 nits peak brightness in HDR. Uh, it has a really, really low reflectivity because everything is direct, right? When you're working with LCD TVs or a QD mini LED lineup, you will kind of see that glass panel, which does have a lot of kind of glare sometimes if it's in a high ambient room. With direct view LED or micro LED, uh, you get no uh, reflectivity at all. Just making sure that your picture is premium, sharp, and concise. Uh, at CES 2025, at our press conference, TCL announced a brand new TV in our lineup called the QM6K, which is available for pre-order pre on TCL.com. If you pre-order today, you actually get a soundbar included as well, which is our Q75H. But another step up, part of our launch series for 2025 is our QM7K. So this kind of goes back to the story of what TCL is doing from a brand perspective, is we're giving premium levels of technology all the way down to different levels of customer. So this QD mini LED TV will have about 2,500 local dimming zones and about 3,000 in its peak brightness. So part of more information will be launched kind of closer as, uh, to when it becomes finalized. Uh, but what we're doing is we're just giving it a lot more premium for a lot more value. So not only is TCL thinking about the value customers and giving them premium, but we also want to make sure that we touch up on those who really truly enjoy cinematic moments at home. And that's where our X11K comes in. So we don't have a ton of details yet. It will be coming later in 2025. Our X11K is going to be one of the most premium flagship models TCL has ever put into the market. This TV right here uh, will be available in an 85 and a 98 inch screen size. Uh, but we'll have about 11,000 local dimming zones of our QD Mini LED and pair that with 6,500 nits of peak brightness to give you an insane color volume and really great accuracy when you're looking at different pieces of content like sports, gaming, and all your streaming favorites. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Brandon Bresnick. I'm here from TCL North America. Today we're at CES 2025, day one, and TCL has some really exciting announcements to share with the general public who is interested in really ultra premium TV technology, right? So there's a buzzword that's going around the TV industry. It's mini LED. But the thing that a lot of consumers don't know is that not all mini LED is created equal. And that's where TCL has really separated themselves by creating a mini LED product that gives a lot of tremendous value for every different price point that a customer may be looking at. Uh, not only do we have different price points for premium technology, but we also have a range of sizes and a range of operating systems as well. So really, we can fine tune what TV fits in your living room space or any other space in your home for a matter of fact. Now, when we talk about QD Mini LED, QD Mini LED was a, a technology that TCL launched in 2024, and we've made even better in 2025 as well. So if you actually look back to our award-winning 6 Series, which was the world's first large screen mini LED TV, we were putting about 300 local dimming zones. And what a local dimming zone is, if you think about the whole area of your screen, all of these little sections fire different colors of light to create the picture that ultimately comes through on the front. So we had about 300 of those zones that were creating color, contrast, and clarity for what we had as an award-winning flagship TV back in 2019. If you were to advance all the way back to last year, 
This was the first ever instance of our double five series. So what that means is a 5,000 local dimming zone TV and a 5,000 nit peak brightness. And for 2025 and beyond, we're actually doubling down on that claim of giving you more zones and more brightness within our panels. So looking at 2025 and beyond, you're looking at about 10,000 local dimming zones for certain models that will be in our ultra premium range with a uh, HDR brightness of about 6,500 nits. And QD Mini LED is probably the closest thing that you can probably compare to an OLED, uh, but it gives you a lot more tangible benefits like lifespan and color, and it actually fits in many more rooms versus an OLED because it combats a lot of ambient light as well. This is the 115 QM891G from TCL. Obviously a very large screen and a very beautiful picture. So when it comes to QD Mini LED, you have all these bulbs, right? And all these chips that are able to shape and emit light so that way your picture is perfect on the other end. Now on top of the bulbs and on top of the optoelectrics, one thing that TCL also really prides itself in as well is our ability to make really, really good processing. So we have an AIPQ and an AIPQ Pro. What does processing bring to a TV that's super powerful, right? So what we do is this chip actually enhances everything from contrast, color, clarity, motion, HDR, and down the line we'll actually get AI scene recognition as well. So all these things are basically built into the processing to handle all those different levels of light and color to give you the picture that you want, whether you're gaming, watching sports, or streaming your favorite movies at home. What? So another really uh, important aspect of TCL TVs in 2025 and beyond is contrast, right? So when you're looking at a picture, you want it to be sharp and precise. You don't want to see bleeding or halo or anything like that. So we've actually taken a conventional IPS panel, which is about a 1500 to one native contrast ratio. This is what you kind of see in your standard entry level TVs. And then last year, TCL unveiled our HVA panels. So we have a 5000 to one native contrast ratio here, which means the differences between bright whites and dark blacks can be seen so that way you have a much more cinematic experience at home. Now 5000 to one was our standard back in 2024. If you were to step into 2025 and beyond, we're doing a Crisclo HVA panel, which is a brand new technology that we've made with our vertical integration, which will get you a 7,000 to one native contrast ratio. So you, as you can see, as we kind of went through more displays, more contrast shows you more detail, more shadow in between all those grass, everyone kind of dancing in the edges and the, as they're moving. Um, and yeah, just a really good balance of light and dark. <laughs> So another really big aspect of TCL in 2025 and beyond is really reshaping what our mini LED backlights are. So here we can kind of see three different stages of how TCL has evolved over time. So like I mentioned before, we were the first uh, OEM manufacturer of TV products to launch a large screen mini LED TV to the market. Uh, and this is kind of what you'd see with your standard entry level. You know, you can see that it's creating a picture, but it's kind of giving a little bit of ambiguous details. It's not necessarily defined as clearly as it should be. Now when you take that mini LED and you advance it, you kind of make it a smaller size, you make it a more efficient and outputting light and a lot more brighter in terms of the output of nits that can be accumulated through all those light sources, shaping it so that way it forms a picture in the front. Our 2024 has advanced almost two times more uh, in that 2025 model. So you'll actually kind of get double the uh, performance that you'd see for 2024 and 2025, which is one of the biggest leaps that we've ever had in our TV backlight uh, technology. So a fun fact from TCL is that we're actually one of the world's manufacturers of monitors globally as well. You know, in here in the North American market, we don't have anything that's available for sale just yet. We may have some stuff down later in 2025, but because we are vertically integrated, we can make panels of any shape, size, and color, right? So what we talked about earlier with our QD Mini LED kind of being reserved for our ultra premium, we're not only putting that in 98 and 115 inch screen sizes, but we're actually bringing that down to a 32 and a 27 inch as well. And not only is that, gamers have been a foundation of what TCL kind of bases our specs around. You know, people want really high clarity, um, so they want a high native refresh rate. So all those things that have kind of went to our award-winning gaming TVs are now making their way into smaller form factors that customers can have for PC gaming and all those types of things. Which really cements our position because TCL here in North America is actually the official TV partner of Activision's Call of Duty franchise, and that's a long-standing partnership. So we know what gamers want, and we're partnered with one of the world's largest gaming titles to make sure that we give everything that gamers can crave out of all the displays, whether big or small.